So earlier on in the course, we created our very first playlist, and you're probably going to spend a lot of time within your playlist, between that and collections at least, because you're going to be organizing the tracks for your sets. Now, playlists are great because you can create a new playlist for just about any reason you want to. So for example, you might be creating a playlist for a gig that you've got coming up. So it could be uh, an important gig, for example. So you could be creating a playlist just for that gig, or you might have a playlist for a certain venue. So maybe you play a big venue every Saturday night as your residency. You could have a playlist with all the tracks that you'd usually play, and you could play from that playlist every single time you play there. So you can create as many playlists within here as you want to, whatever makes sense to you, and you can use playlists however you want to. Now, in the first part of this, this course, we kind of went through a demo playlist. We first created this playlist and we talked about the number order within here. So you can actually organize these tracks around to change the order to be however you want to. And we're kind of renumbering them on the left hand side here. Now, there's also a really kind of cool way to be able to do this if you want to order it by a different column. So say, for example, we wanted to order this by date added. So I could order it by date added within here. And in fact, I'm going to move that column over so we can see it a little bit better. But what we can see on the left hand side here is the track order is all jumbled up. We can actually renumber this. So next time we load this playlist, it will automatically load in this order, the order of date added. So what I can do is I can right click on here and go to renumber track order. This will renumber it in the order that we've got it here. So even if we order it by number, it's still going to be in that same order that we want it to. So it's almost like a way of defaultly ordering it the way you want to. But of course, you can still move these around if you want to. So if you want to put another track at the start, you can do. You still got full control over all of this. Now to show you the next feature, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete some of the tracks out of here. So if you ever want to delete tracks out of a playlist, you can just select the tracks that you want to right click and go remove from playlist. This will just remove it from the playlist. Now it does actually warn you just in case as it does most of the time and you can click OK and it will just delete it from that playlist. It doesn't actually del delete it from your collection, just from that playlist. So as I mentioned earlier on, Recordbox can actually analyze your track for key. So we can see the key column here, which I'm just going to move to the left hand side here a little bit and it'll actually analyze it for key. But one of the great features of Recordbox is that it can actually suggest tracks that will go with that key. So if, say, for example, if I click on this track here, so it's highlighted, I can go to the related tab on the right hand side here. Now, at the moment, it's actually looking at the master player at the top. We'll come on to that a bit later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into list mode. So if I put it into list mode, it's actually going to take this track that I have selected here and it's going to show me me tracks that are related to that track. So tracks that are in the same key or maybe they are very similar BPMs, it will actually suggest those within here. So we can see here another track that is in F minor and I can actually just add this straight to the list here. And if I click on that track, I'm shown a whole load of other options. So I could then pick this track, for example. And then if I click that track, it will show me a whole load of other options for different tracks that I want to. So maybe I'll select this one next. It's a really interesting way to find different tracks that will go with the tracks that you have in your playlist. Of course, though, this is just the software suggesting these tracks. So they might not actually go together once you listen to them. They might be slightly different in energy level or might be completely different genres. So you just need to make sure that obviously that you're picking the tracks that you want to. But it's a great additional helper to give you those suggestions that you might not have thought about. Those tracks that you've forgotten about, maybe that are kind of buried within your collection. It's a great way of being able to pick those out. Now, as well as being able to access the playlist from the left hand side here, we also have this palette of playlists. So we can put playlists in any one of these slots and be able to access it really quickly. So it's really easy to set one of these. All you need to do is take the playlist from the left hand side here and drag it onto one of these palettes. And we can see there that our playlist is now in there and we can easily just fill these up. So if you do have those playlists that you use regularly, then you can get to them really, really quickly. Just click in between them here. But another great feature is this little down arrow here. If I click this down arrow, it'll actually show me what's in that playlist, a little kind of mini playlist, if you will. And you can easily just see from within there. So if you want to move tracks between playlists or maybe you want to go to the collection, you can actually just drag and drop a track straight into the playlist there and you can see it there. And you can even sort the playlist from this mini view as well. And if you find yourself wanting more than just the four that are available here, we actually have three banks of them. So we have the first one here, then we got another four and a final four. So you can easily get between those three banks by clicking on these buttons here. 
Now, one tip that I would recommend is setting up keyboard shortcuts for these palettes because it makes it really easy to take tracks that are within your collection and quickly add those to those playlists. Now, we haven't really dived into the preferences yet of Rekordbox, and I'll go into that a bit later on, but we're going to jump into the preferences now and we're going to go to the keyboard tab. This will show all the different keyboard shortcuts we have for Rekordbox. And we're going to go into the browse category. And then we're going to scroll down to add selected tracks to palette playlist one. And I'm going to go over to the plus symbol over here, click that. And what it's going to do is it's now asking me for a key combination. So I'm going to select control and one. And then I'll click OK. So that is now set up as a keyboard shortcut with control and one. I'm going to do the same thing with playlist two. I'm going to do control and two. And with palette playlist three, control and three and playlist four, control and four. So those are now set within there. I'm gonna close the preferences down. And when you're going through your collection, you can easily just hit that keyboard shortcut. So control and one, and it'll automatically add it into that first playlist. And say, for example, I wanna add it into the playlist number two, I just do control and two. It's just really, really easy. And when you're going through your collection and you want to fill up that playlist very, very quickly, these keyboard shortcuts just make it so, so easy. And finally, while we're still talking about playlists, you can actually organize your playlists in folders as well. So if you have a large number of playlists, you can actually put them in different folders that make sense to you. So say, for example, you have a whole load of playlists for one particular venue, you can actually have a folder for that venue. Now you can right click anywhere within the playlist section and select create new folder. And maybe you put the venue name in. So I'm just gonna call it venue. And then I can actually just drag in any playlist that I want to into that folder. It makes organized your playlist really, really easily. And for example, with me, I have different playlists for each genre, and then I put them in a genre folder. But that is the thing with Rekordbox, you can customize it to be however you want to, whatever makes sense for you. <laughs>